All right, so welcome to Discipleship 101. I've had a lot of people in our church and also online who have asked me to disciple them. Unfortunately, I could not be able to do that. Uh, but then the Lord recently, he gave me an idea what I could do to teach everybody over here. So what I'll be doing is that once a week or once in a while, I'm going to be giving discipleship videos. And I want everyone to keep tabs. I mean, everyone in our church and even those online to keep tabs on the videos of our discipleship. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mention the in the title of the videos, I'm going to mention discipleship and I'm going to mention uh, the uh, week one or week two, week three or first class, second class, something like that. That way you guys can keep tab on which class number you missed out. All right, because there might be a discipleship class that somebody in our church may not have been able to make. So then keep tabs on the discipleship. I'm going to put them on a separate playlist on YouTube. So go to the separate playlist on YouTube, and it'll say discipleship. And then when you look at that, click on whatever video you missed out on. And it'll say first class, second class, third class, fourth class, something like that. That way you can keep tabs easily in which class you skipped. And it won't be hard for you to find which video that you need to that you missed out on. So keep tabs on that one on the YouTube video. That is extremely important. Another thing is this is that always keep tabs. So this is an orientation that I'm going to be giving. This is a, a lot of it is intro today. That way um, you all can know how to do discipleship. So if any of you have questions on discipleship online or people in our church have missed out something salient and important, watch this video. This video is going to give you everything on what to do. So keep tabs on YouTube. It'll mention the class number or week number. That way you can keep tabs on which class that you missed out. The second thing is, now this is extremely important. If you don't do this, then all of it is in vain. Assignments. This is the most important part. If you want to improve on discipleship, it's going to depend upon your homework assignments that I give out to you. The reason why is this, is because everyone is busy with their own schedule. That's why I couldn't do discipleship classes. Uh, there's going to be some classes that you're going to skip out on. So that's why I'm going to give everyone assignments. And assignments are extremely important for you to uh, know which material to study and which one to catch up on. That way, let's say that you skip three classes of discipleship. If you check out the YouTube video, right? and find out which class or week number you skipped and watch that video. You didn't miss out anything important and you'll hear the homework assignment at the end. And then you can do your assignments and then let's say the fourth class you're able to come, but the first three classes you skip. At the fourth class when you come, you'll be all cut up in what I teach and the homework assignments. If you skip the classes, remember this, you're not going to be discipled well. That's extremely important. Another thing is this, is that there's going to be different people in our church who are progressing differently, okay? So when that happens, don't be tempted to skip the class sessions and feel like, well, I don't have to make up in watching the video or the assignments. No, it's extremely important. You watch the videos uh, and the assignments. That way you can catch up. If there happens to be something that you felt so much behind in, don't worry about that. Um, this is for members in my church. For people online, if you've fallen behind, that's not a problem for you. Because all you have to do is just go by your own pace in watching the videos and assignments. But the people in my church, when they're present in here, they might fall behind. And in that case, what's, uh, don't worry about that. I'm going to work out in a way where I'm going to rotate the classes. So once in a while, I will have a makeup class. And in this makeup class, I can like cram in everything important and get you caught up really quickly or change your assignments. So it's really important that you keep tabs with me on that one. And then uh, I can get you all caught up. So don't worry about that. So that's why this discipleship thing, it's going to go like once a week or once in a while, the video will be uploaded. The reason why is because there's going to be others who might need to catch up. So that's, so we'll be doing this. So this will give plenty of time to our onliners. So 
you onliners will have more chances than our members actually to catch up. So this is a great opportunity for you guys on this one. So faithfully do your assignments. Another thing is this. Otherwise, now I want people online to pay attention to this, okay? If you start critiquing me on how I do things in discipleship classes, I'm not going to upload these videos. Now, I'm sure that there are jerks out there and trolls out there, so those people I'll ignore. But uh, people who have been faithfully watching us, if there's something that I teach or say that you automatically disagree with or you correct or something like that, then I can't upload these videos anymore. Now, the reason why is this. Before you all misunderstand, I'm going to say this only one time. And my members in my church need to hear this too. That way they don't think I'm some cult leader. A discipleship class is not a class where the master has to correct himself and clear up uh, himself every single time to his students. If he does that, I can't get you caught up and grown at, a, at the right timetable and schedule. Okay? In my preaching and teaching, I do it differently, the way I teach and deliver and all that, because I know that there are people out there who are searching. There are newcomers who come to our church, newcomers who watch us online. So in that, those cases, I clear up the miscomprehension. I become a little bit more careful. Well, actually, much more careful now that I'm online. And then I always open up opportunities for people to ask questions in my church online. If I have enough time, I'll try to catch up in answering the comments or backtrack emails or answer phone calls, which is extremely even more rare. So in this one, what I want is this. I want you, what I need is this. I need your trust and listen. Because this is discipleship class, meaning you're entrusting me as your teacher. You're entrusting me. You're entrusting me to guide you. Okay? You can't keep correcting me, critiquing me every time I'm guiding you. Otherwise, this is not discipleship 101. So if you want to be discipled, but you have that attitude, I can't help you, okay? That doesn't mean that you're not a part of our uh, audience. No, you can still subscribe to us, watch our other videos, our preaching, teaching. And some of you are still searching. So I understand if you're still searching that uh, it's going to take time for you to finally entrust us, entrust me as a teacher and preacher. I mean, people in my church ended up in our church because they were searching for truth. And the first time, they had a whole bunch of questions, too. So that's totally understandable, okay? So, I mean, uh, we have so many people. I mean, Brother Sean, he was going through all kinds of stuff, conspiracies online. Brother Chris here was also searching a lot of things online. But they both now come to a point, not just them, but so many other people. They, find, they come to a point where they came to know me personally where they can finally trust me now, see? So that's why they're in our discipleship classes now. But then those of you online who are not at that position, then uh, this won't be recommended for you, okay? Because I'm human, I'm flesh, and I'm gonna be less careful in this teaching, and then you all go, oh, so he says this, oh, he says this, and blah, 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 blah. Then don't watch us. This is a discipleship video, all right? Not our Bible study, preach and teach and videos. If you want to watch the preaching and teaching videos, then watch that one, okay? You can put more critical lenses on this one, but not in this one. This one, I'm trying to guide you, okay? So I can't give every verse to justify the reason why I'm teaching you this way. I can't give every logical explanation and background, all right? Only in Bible studies and preaching, I'll do that. Not in this one. This one, I'll just, say, I'll just believe that you guys trust me and say whatever, what I think is best that can help you. Okay. Otherwise, you wouldn't entrust me to be under my uh, under my guidance and discipleship. If you want to be my disciple, see see that that's why it's called discipleship. My disciple, then you're just going to have to entrust and listen. Okay. All right. So I talked long enough about that one. So this one is extremely important. Otherwise, you're not going to grow. Okay. I promise you that much. My disciples are witnesses. They've been searching for truth all this time. They know that once they trusted and listened and they just followed along, they grew much faster. You will grow much slower if you have this critical mindset, okay? I won't be able to work with you that quickly. All right, so trust and listen. The fourth thing that's really important about this discipleship thing is that not only just uh, the assignments, 
but also that you've got to practice. Practice and keep encouraging yourself. Now, this is really important because I've seen this with majority of Christians. The majority of Christians, what happens is that they have the zeal to serve God and go under, uh, like at PBI, for example, where I was trained at. The first year, the classes were filled out. Guarantee, you give it a couple months, boom, everybody starts leaving. So the thing is this, is that you need to keep uh, being faithful in attending. Now, I want to say this too. This is why this is a benefit. I'm much more, this discipleship is much more lenient. It's much more gracious and much more rich an opportunity for you if you're backsliding or falling behind. If you've fallen behind, don't worry. The reason why is because you got the videos online to catch up with. I also give the assignments that you can catch up with. For members in here, me personally training you, I can work with you in a schedule where we can I can find you a slot to catch up in. Not only that, here's the fourth thing. So I'm going to combine these two th statements together. The fourth the fifth thing that I want to add is this is that this discipleship is going to be broken down into three parts. So that's the good news. There are three different cla uh, three different parts. There's beginner level, there's me uh, there's beginner level, intermediate level, and advanced level. So the great news is this. The great news is let's say you backslide and you fell behind and you can't do it anymore. The thing is this, this one will be renewed every year. I'm very I have a feeling it can be done every year. It depends with uh, the kind of people who come to our church, though. That's a thing. But if the Lord keeps blessing us with uh, new people coming in, as he's been doing recently, then what's going to happen is this. There's going to be some newcomer who will come six months later. But we're already past that, and we're probably at intermediate level. Don't worry about that one, because uh, with those people, we start a, a, a new time schedule where we go back to beginning level again. And if any of you who are in the intermediate classes, if uh, there's some beginner level that you backslid on or you stopped in, you can just start all over again. See that? So nearly every year, so I would probably dare say nearly every year, we're going to renew this over and over again. So you'll see those videos too. In the videos, you'll see a new discipleship video. So you can compare to the previous years as well. So it'll be a good learning experience as well. So these will be broken down into three parts. For those of you who are curious, the first part is beginning level, which is in our uh, basic doctrines or Bible study. Now, this one you want to know. You got to go to our website. Those of you who are watching online and people in our church, you're going to have to remember this one. www our church channel our homepage, bbcenglish.org. You have to keep going to this one. This is where you're going to get all your assignments and everything. Go to www.bbcenglish.org. For beginning level, you're going to have to go there faithfully. The reason why is this. Your assignments are going to be based on the audios over there. So <clears throat> all you have to do is when you go to bbcenglish.org, what you're going to find out is that when you scroll down, you're going to see uh, a section there where it says Bible study, Bible study. So it's in the San Jose Bible Baptist Church box area. So as soon as you go to bbcenglish.org, in that main page, you'll see a box area where it says San Jose Bible Baptist Church, end times and demons, dispensationalism, defending KJV, et cetera, et cetera, and you'll see Bible study there. Click on Bible study. That's where we're going to go th with all of our classes. All right, everything we're going to be covering fundamental, main, important doctrines. So that's really important. So that's for beginning level. So we have some members who've been incredibly blessed more on our basic doctrine, fundamental doctrine classes than the the end times and demons teachings I've been doing. Now, a lot of people online are fascinated with that kind of stuff, but 
If you're a person who wants to grow and be discipled and know much more of the Bible, you will love this one more than my conspiracies and end times teaching. You will love this one more because it will get you the fundamentals on exactly understanding every single milk doctrine that you thought you knew. But when you study it, you go, wow, it makes more sense now. And when you, uh, when those things start opening your eyes, when you start studying bigger stuff like dispensationalism, end times and demons, and defending every word in the King James Bible, it's going to be even more eye-opening. That's what's going to happen. So that's why it's so important. A lot of people, this is important for our members too to understand. A lot of people, they jump to the meat. So because they're fascinated with the meat doctrines, right? The heavy doctrines. But when you jump to that first, you miss out a lot of gold mines. Now it's true, when you study the big deep doctrines, you get fascinated with that. Everybody does. But the thing is this, is that uh, if you're like, if you're a person who actually studied the milk doctrines first, the main important doctrines first, and you are so well grounded in that and you fully understand that, those people will enjoy the deep doctrines even more. Not only that, they themselves will be even able to think better, grow themselves better compared to the pastor or the teacher teaching them, all right? You can even think for yourself. So this is really important. You can start thinking for yourself now better. That's what's gonna happen. So you'll be able to think for yourself once you start from the beginning level, and then when you start eating the deeper ones, your independent mind's gonna process even better. So like Brother Sean, a lot of you have seen his talent in preaching and teaching, as well as uh, Brother Tom. They found a lot of gold mines, but the reason why is because they went through this discipleship first. When they went through that first, what happened is when they got to intermediate and advanced levels, they start to pick things out of the Bible real quickly. And I don't even have to guide them as much. They give me input that I even never thought of before as well. But the thing is, is the reason why they can show me that kind of stuff and they grew that much is because they started from the bottom. And that's what you need to do. You need to realize that what you are right now is a baby Christian. If you don't recognize you're a baby Christian who needs to be fed and guided, then you can't, then don't take this discipleship class. I won't be able to help you. The pastor's job is to guide, to feed you. All right. Not you telling the pastor on how to feed and stuff like that. This is discipleship, okay? This is discipleship. It's not called searching for truth. This is not the time. You're already past that now. You already searched for truth, and the Lord showed you a lot of things, and now you've come to accept me as your pastor and teacher. Now that you finally come to that point, I can be able to disciple you, all right? If you're still not at that point yet, then don't watch this video, okay? Keep searching for truth until I can gain your trust. But I hope it won't take some of you a long time. I know internet people, when they're by themselves, it takes a long time, which I hope that won't be the case. There are people in my church. Now, I understand what I'm talking about because I have people in my church who have been through that searching process too, okay? So this is really important to understand. So it, this is an important key. That way you can grow quickly. So there's a beginning level, I said, so I'll put that as B. And then there's an intermediate level. In this intermediate level, what I'm going to do is not give you the basic doctrine classes. What's going to happen is I'm going to give you selected subjects now on how to argue for your faith a little bit, on also how to, um, a little bit of, I'm going to show you church history. I'm going to sh uh, give you subjects about archaeology perhaps, and then KJV, defending the KJV, and then uh, deeper doctrines such as dispensationalism, and then the Genesis gap, and then the kingdom of heaven versus kingdom of God, and then a lot of the weird end times and demon stuff. So that will be intermediate. Advanced, now you thought that was advanced. You might go, I thought that was advanced. No, that's intermediate. By the way, beginning level is also learning how to soul win. I'm gonna teach you how to actually witness to people. So this will be beginning level. Intermediate, I'm going to show you more advanced things that's going to build upon this. And you and I, I believe this, when you get to this level, you're going to start thinking independently and catch things. That's what's going to happen. Advanced level, what's going to happen is this. This one is extremely helpful. I'm going to be teaching you how to teach and preach. 
teach and preach. That's what I'm going to do. And uh, this is also a class for women. Now, in the Bible, remember, women are not supposed to teach and preach. But the thing is this, is that women are definitely needed because there's a lot of young people out there, and not only that, women too. They need, we need a lot of teachers. All right, women are not supposed to teach with, because of the authority of them being over the man. See, that's the reason why they cannot teach. But other than that, they are definitely needed to teach and to help out people, such as little kids in Sunday school classes, uh, even their own children, mothers are supposed to raise them properly, right? So why not grow them up with the knowledge of the Lord when the husband's out working at a job? Uh, women need other role models. You know how encouraging it is for what women need it more than men. What women need is people of their own gender to look up to more than the men, see? Because, man, they'll just go by out and then go gung-ho for Jesus. Who cares? But women, they depend on other women. They need that. So this, the thing is, is that this is going to be available for women as well. All right? So this will be important for women. So beginners, intermediate, and advanced. Now, when you get to advanced, in intermediate, I'll also get you to teach and preach too. That's it. good news as well. Intermediate, I'm going to get you to teach and preach a little bit as well. But once you start getting into here learning how to teach and preach, your, your knowledge of the Bible will boom. It will literally boom. I'm telling you, it will boom. So these are important for orientation to understand. Another thing I want to say is this. So let me erase this part. So this is just orientation, but you're learning a lot already, right? You notice? So you're learning a lot already. Okay, so I'm going to erase this part. And if any of you need to write this stuff down, you can watch it online, all right? And then write it down. That way you don't forget these. Another thing in discipleship, what I'm going to do that's really important is this, is that I want you all to actually buy these books. So here are some books that is important for beginning level. God's Answers to Man's Questions. That's by Albin Douglas. Some of you have saw me recommending it online already. Now, I just want to give a heads up about Albin Douglas. Albin Douglas, unfortunately, he was during the days of Schofield and those guys. During those days, the knowledge increased definitely among Bible preachers, but they were messed up by the modern version stuff. So just a heads up warning about Alvin Douglas is that uh, he's got messed up by that modern version stuff because we can't really blame him at that time because at that timetable, we didn't have KJV defenders coming out like Ed Edward F. Hills, Dean Bergen. They weren't that much known. It wasn't until Peter Ruckman, Dr. Peter S. Ruckman, that it was really popularized actually. So Douglas, is God's answers to man's questions. The second thing that you need to buy is Theological Studies by Dr. Peter S. Ruckman. Now this one is KJV based because it's based off of Ruckman. But here's the good news. Dr. Ruckman, he basically adapts Douglas's book. So he takes Douglas's book, God Answers to Man's Question, and then he expands it more. He expands it more and does it in a Bible-believing standpoint. So whatever Douglas got wrong, you can uh, filter it out with Ruckman's material. So that's the good news. Now, wh why not just buy this one? Why do you have to buy this one too? The reason why you have to buy this one too is Douglas, he does it in an outline format. That is extremely important. Because he does it in an outline format, it's so easy to understand. What you're going to find out is this. When you study my audio Bible studies that I'm going to assign to you, you're going to find out I mentioned section one, first section. The next section is. The next section is. All right, point number one, point number two. Point. You know where I got that from? Douglas's style. So that is extremely important. And trust me, yes, when I teach that, you want to exactly, exactly write down in outline way. I want you to do that section. The next section is this. Okay, point number one, point number two, point. I want you to write that. If you do that, basically your notes in the end is going to come out like his book. 
and you won't need his book anymore later on in life. That's what's going to happen. So I want you to get Douglas's book, Ruckman's book. The third book, this is extremely recommended, is Bible Study Charts and Outlines. Now this one is optional, okay? I'll put this as optional. But some of you people who really like to grow, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be optional for you. You're going to buy it. This is by Ruckman as well. The author is Ruckman again. Now, the reason why this is extremely recommended is it's very cheap. It's very cheap. It's a thin book, but it consists purely, purely of outlines and charts. That's all it is, outlines and charts. And once you get that book, what happens is, is that it covers all the deep doctrines, like the shape of the universe, pyramid shape of the universe. It also covers uh, the church history outline, a revelation chart. It even debunks evolution and it covers the defense of the King James Bible, all in outline and charts, purely. And he'll put these little snippets of verses next to it. So they, they come in extremely handy. If you have it as a beginner, trust me, trust me, even myself, advanced in knowledge, etc., I still use that book. So this is the most handy book ever. But the reason why I'm putting that as optional is because uh, this, uh, you're not going to grow that much yet. We're not going to study all that stuff. But if you want to buy it now, it's worth your money. It's cheap. The fourth thing, this is probably really important. Buy the Ruckman Reference Bible. Now, the good news for our church members is that if you're a member of our church, there's a sister in Christ, Sister Barbara, who gives these out for free to people in our church, and sometimes even visitors, actually. So that's an incredible blessing. Our church don't compensate that. It's by the love of the brethren in our church, actually. So if any of you are members in our churches, we'll give this to you for free. Now, if those of you who are online, you're going to have to purchase that one. Uh, if you want to purchase these at kjv1611.org, all of these can be pur purchased at this website, www kjv1611.org. So buy all this material at this website. The Ruckman Reference Bible, why is this absolutely necessary? The reason why is this is because when you're doing your Bible reading, he has tons of footnotes at the bottom, and he even has 118 appendices in the back. He even has maps there. You get that book, Boom, you'll be able to uh, know what the verses are about, the background behind it, and then you'll get the doctrines more quickly. And if you have that Bible, you'll be able to uh, grow in knowledge independently, aside from my lessons, actually. I won't even cover a lot of what he teaches in that reference Bible. So this will be good for you to buy, the Ruckman Reference Bible. So we're going to close it right here. The next teachings I'm going to do is what's important about the foundation of discipleship, so I'll be covering that one. Now, for your homework assignment, what you'll be doing is this, is that uh, buy these materials and then uh, go through our website, all right? That will be your assignment. I don't care if any of our members aren't here tonight. You all better watch this and do this assignment, all right? Your assignment tonight, if you don't do this, then uh, you're going to have to play catch up. And my assignments, they're not going to be difficult, okay? I work, I do it very easily. Be familiar with our website. All right, start searching this out, the Bible study, stuff like that, all right? I'll even put a link below this video. I'll put a link right below this video to make it convenient for you. Be familiar with our site. Another thing that you want to do is to buy these materials, all right? So start buying these materials. Now, if any of you out there say, well, you know, I'm dirt poor. I have absolutely no money to buy this kind of stuff. Then uh, I want to encourage you with this. Don't worry about that because when I'm teaching you the stuff, you can just simply write down the notes. And when you write down these notes, you'll be able to get the teaching that you need. So you don't have to worry too much about that, okay? But it would be much more helpful if you get these. You need these if you want to grow faster. That's what I would recommend. But if you don't have it, don't be discouraged about it. 
It is my job. That's why it's called discipleship. I know my responsibility. You're entrusting me, see? So I know the value of accountability and responsibility I bear on my shoulders. So it's going to be my job to get you to grow because you're entrusting me. I don't want to let you guys down. So with my uh, teaching and guidance, I'll do the best that I can where you can come on a par level with people who would have these materials, actually. So buy these materials, be familiar with our site. And then uh, this is optional, but the stuff that you learn from this lesson, I want you to take to heart. All right. I really want you to take to heart, pray to the Lord about it. If any of you have watched this video for the first time and you're unsure about discipleship, uh, I want you to pray to the Lord about it. I want you to pray to the Lord. And hey, whatever decision you make between you and God, that's between you and God. All right. I'm not going to force you to make a decision. This is not Pope Paul the 20-something where I tell you guys what to do. All right. So I leave that between you and God. Even though you're under my discipleship, I know my boundaries on where it's going to have to be between you and God, all right? Because you're entrusting me. Because you're entrusting me, I have to know my boundaries as well. So I'm going to leave that up to you. And then if you feel that led that you should take under this discipleship class, and you can do it without, and you can do it without con consistently criticizing me and say, well, that's wrong there, that's wrong there, then uh, you'll do fine in our discipleship class. But if you don't think so, then I'd recommend to pray to the Lord, keep watching our other videos until the Lord sees fit upon your heart where I can win your trust. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the discipleship tonight and bless the rest of the hours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Out of all the wrong doctrines that's happening in our day and age at the last days of the church as the apocalypse is coming even closer, the point of all this, friend, is that you won't be even able to grow in knowledge of the truth, in Bible-believing truth, until you get saved first. The most important question you have to ask yourself after watching all this is if you were to die today, are you 100% sure that you're going to go to heaven? Perhaps one of these wrong doctrines have affected you and you had the improper way of salvation. As you have seen before, the way to get saved is very simple. It's only simply salvation by grace alone, without works, through the Lord Jesus Christ in this Christian day and age. If you're not sure that you can go to heaven after you die, it's very simple to get saved. First of all, you have to understand that because of sin, God is a holy God, and He cannot even allow 1% of sin into heaven. So He has to judge sin with a burning hell. So it is very important that you got to realize how serious sin is and you must repent. You might say, well then, I guess I have to clean up all my sins. I guess I have to go to church. I guess I have to get baptized. I have to, I have to be a good person. No, my friend, good works can never save you. Jesus is God who died, buried, and resurrected so that he can pay all the sins for you. You don't have to pay a single sin for yourself. So all you have to do as a repentant sinner is turn to what he did on the cross alone for your salvation. You might say, well, pastor, I do believe only on what Jesus did on the cross to save me. That's great. Then all you have to do is just say that to the Lord. You might say, well, preacher, I haven't prayed much before in my life. I don't know really how to say it to God. Can you help me out? Sure. You can say it this way. Dear God. I know I'm a sinner. As I repent, I put my faith that Jesus is God and that he died, buried, and resurrected so that his blood can wash away my sins. I put my faith in that alone to save me, not my good works. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Congratulations, my friend, if you meant it with all your heart that you put your faith only on what Jesus did on the cross through his blood to save you, then you are saved. It's that simple, my friend. Now, my friend, it is important to grow in Bible-believing truth. You now know the truth. What are you going to do about it? As the apocalypse comes even more closer and Satan's about his, to set up his kingdom even more, there are many souls dying and going to hell, and even many more churches out there who don't know right and wrong doctrine. It is up to you now on what to do. 
and go to our resources site www.bbcenglish.org and click on the resources link over there and it'll give you everything that you need to grow in grace the next step of your journey now is up to you we've done our part giving you this movie all of it was done for free by the love of the people god bless you